Hey everyone, it's me, the Biblionista, and I'm going to talk to you today about Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, I finished it two days ago, and uh, I didn't come on right away to talk about it because honestly, I was I had to let it marinate. I um, It was amazing, and afterwards, uh, when I finished the last page, my jaw hit the floor, and I just did not have the words. Um, this is the next big series in YA. I just, I can feel it in my bones. And so yesterday, um, after a week of, because uh, the book came out last week, last Tuesday, and yesterday it hit number one on the New York Times bestseller list. And I can say that I am not surprised at all. Um, and I have a feeling that it's going to stay there for uh, a while. I, it'll be up there for a while. Uh, so get on it, guys. Go get the book. Read it for yourselves. Um, it is an epic fantasy. Uh, uh, the character on the front, that is the, the main character, um, our main protagonist, and uh, she's fierce. She's a very strong uh, character, and she is fighting for basically her life, uh, the life of her people, and um, there is uh, as there's magic, <laughs> there's um, African mythology and religion um, and culture, and uh, it's just it's amazing. Um, so the panel that I'm going to be moderating at the Texas Library Association um, that. Tomi is going to be on along with five other authors. The title of that panel is Diversity in Young Adult Literature. Um, so this is the first book that I've ever heard of, or read, um, that I know of. Maybe there's one out there. Maybe there are some out there, but I've never heard of them. But the first fantasy novel, like epic fantasy that has, um, all black characters. Uh, so very, uh, that, you know, very diverse in that aspect that it's, it's not, it's not been done before. And so, um, for me as an African American, uh, woman to see this, uh, gorgeous cover, um, it just, I don't know, it makes me warm and fuzzy inside <laughs> to be honest. And so, um, you guys definitely have to check this out. Oh, so I got the I got the ARC, the advanced release copy, um, before the book came out. But of course, when it came out, I had to go get the, the hardcover. So this is the hardcover. And I'm so glad I did because remember I told you about the map. There's the map. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, I love maps because in, uh, especially in fantasy, uh, there's a lot of world building. And it helps to be able to follow the journey. Um, so love the map. Also, um, there's an author's note. Um, at the end, there's an author's note and uh, Tomi kind of explains um, where this story came from out of um, her frustration with what was and is going on uh, in our country uh, with um, the Black Lives Matter movement or the, the, nece uh, the necessity for having a Black Lives Matter movement. Um, and she kind of explains, she goes into detail uh, and it's very interesting. So uh, definitely check out, um, get the book so you can see her author's note. And there's also, this is also probably like one of my favorite things besides the map because I love the map. Um, but at the very end, there is a behind the scenes with Tomi Adeyemi. And if you can see, um, she picked out her favorite chapter from the book and she kind of, uh, it's annotated. So it's got little notes from her. She kind of explains um, certain things, her thoughts on it or what was her favorite part or why she wrote something a certain way. So very interesting. So, um, yeah, you guys, go out, buy this today. You will not be disappointed. Um, so yeah, awesome. Um, so the next book that I am going to be reading in preparation for uh, the panel is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, which uh, also came out last week. This is, um, Elizabeth is a slam poet, and she's been doing it for... I want to say like 10, 15 years, something like that. Um, 
and I've seen some of her. If you've never heard of her, you should definitely look her up, uh, look at some of her uh, YouTube videos of some of her performances. Uh, they're amazing. And this book, The Poet X, is a novel in verse, so if I open it up, you'll see that it is um, written in, oh, it's written in verse. Okay, so um, I am gonna read this copy, but I'm also going to be listening to the audiobook, which is um, narrated or performed by the author. So Elizabeth is actually the person who um, did the audiobook. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, my thoughts on The Poet 